As you may know, if you've seen some of the other clips, I took a traditional shadow box that was already pre-made and decided that I liked the shadow box, but I wasn't crazy about what was inside of it. And so I took the inside out, and now I have a shadow box that I can work with. One thing that you might want to do before you put anything in your shadow box is clean it real well with a glass cleaner. I decided that I would like to do something with potpourri. I love the smell and I love the look of potpourri and it can make a very attractive wall hanging. So what I did was I took this piece and I took some of my very rich paper and I lined it with this green paper. And then I took pieces of potpourri from this potpourri bag and I laid them out in a design that I liked and I, I arranged it and rearranged it and then I simply took Elmer's glue and glued the back of these pieces, pressed them down and let them dry. Now that they're dry, I simply need to put the back back on my shadow box and I will have my beautiful potpourri wall hanging in my shadow box. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit to get it just so and make sure that it goes in and then close your little metal pieces over the back just like you would any regular picture. And it's ready to hang. Now this particular one has two hangers on the side Probably what I would do would be to pull those in toward the middle and add one of these regular picture hangers to the back of it so that they wouldn't stick out and show. But once again, there it is, ready to go, a potpourri shadow box.